center of Yangon, Myanmar. It's 5.40 p.m. and what you're hearing, hopefully in the background, is the call to prayer at this mosque that I'm standing next to over here. Interestingly enough though, 75% of the population here are actually Buddhists. So, uh, yeah, not as many Muslims, but still plenty here in the city of Yangon. And it's just closing time, and so the locals here are sitting down for some tea, which is quite popular here in Myanmar. And you can just grab a plastic table and stool and uh, set up your own tea service right here in the streets. And we're going to go for a walk here towards Sule Pagoda. And you can join me on this short little stroll along the sidewalk. You can buy all sorts of random stuff here. Sunglasses. And I believe these are lottery tickets. And here we have boxers made from Apple. More lottery tickets. And of course, tons of street food. We'll take a quick look here. Deliciousness. This guy's making a little tobacco action. <laughs> and uh, straight up ahead here is the pagoda. It's under construction, so unfortunately, there's a whole bunch of scaffolding, but you get the sense of what it would look like in all its unscaffold grandeur. This particular pagoda serves as like a landmark in the middle of Yangon. As you can see it from all the major thoroughfares, it's that big. But it's not the biggest. The biggest is a separate pagoda that's covered all in gold and I'll get a video of that later. And it's the crazy Yangon traffic here. This is a three-lane rotary, and I'm actually surprised they're stopped. Oh, there's a street light here. Most of these intersections don't have street lights, and so you gotta basically close your eyes and pray when you're crossing roads, just hoping that the drivers will stop for you as you make your way through the, the traffic. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.